So all right guys, here we go. We got the AQ tires Baja size and foams. I know some of you guys, including myself, have never actually seen these things. And they are quite, I mean, really just lightweight foam. I mean, super lightweight. And we got the Baja AQ version two. And we got a set of bead locks, some used bead locks. We have some uh, Proline Desperado wheels and just some tools to get these things all mounted up. So uh, let's get started, man. All right, so you know this side with the little cutout relief, this is the rear. And then this side here with these little indentations all around the wheel. Let's see if I can get that focused. There you go. These go on the front, on the outside. All right. Put the foams in here, which is a little bit of a feat by itself. And there we have it, nice and tight in there, all the way around. So just work that foam, make sure you got it all set. Make sure it is behind this little lip here. Make sure you get that behind there. All right, and everything feels good. Give it a good roll, good pushing. You know what I mean? Yep, that's it. All right, next up, let's try and get this wheel down inside here. So. All right, so Desperado wheel comes out. All right. Don't forget, also in this bag is your rings. Those rings right here. Don't need it right now. But this ring right here. That ring fits right over top of the back of here. And just tap it down with a hammer, piece of wood, something like that. Sometimes you can push it down on there, and if it seats on there. But not too worried about that right now. Just worry about getting this inside that. All right, first thing I do, line it up. You want you want one of these these notches right here to line up with the notches here. All right, so the front front here and the rear they're in line. So as long as this. And then you set that on top of there like such. You line that up. See that notch right there? You want to line that up with that. Line that right on up with that on there. Because once you get this tie on here, trying to spin this thing to line it up is going to be near impossible. Next up, just give it presses and get it all the way down. It's a lot harder to do this with one hand. And it's with two. <laughs> all right, so that's all the way down, right? You can kind of see right there all your holes line up with the notches in the front of the foam. All right, next thing is to take it and we're going to pull this all the way around with these spoons. I'm using the spoons, I'm sure you can use a screwdriver or something like that, but this is just a bicycle spoon. All right, I'm just going to put the pride in here like such and then bring the other one in go next to it and just keep going all the way around all right and then you'll pull out these little tabs these lips all the way around here and get them on the top on the front of that and then push it as you go and then you you'll see like that so we're starting to get it just like that and then just keep start working your way around there it is, right? I'm moving, getting little by little. As I pull here, I push down. See how that just popped up like that? Go a little bit further, push down. All right, put a little lip out. down and pull and as you pull push down you should be able to pull that little lip out 
just like that. Push down. And it's crazy because version ones was even worse. And I like the version ones better, truthfully. But the version ones were even worse. They were harder to get out. Trying to do this one hand sucks. Just like that. And then you should line up right inside these grooves. Right inside these little slots. That's where you should line up at. Push it down. Make sure it's all the way down. And that is it, ladies and gentlemen. Let me get these joints in this grooves all the way around. Make sure it's in all the way. And then we will put the bead lock on there. And just like that, it's in on both sides. And we'll throw a bead lock on it. And this is what I'm using here, these bite screws, DDM. We got another set here, it's already open. I'm gonna throw these on. And this is what these uh, screws are like. All right, not the machine screws, but these are the bite lock screws. Like usually your bead locks come with the machine screws. These will bite a lot better. Alright, so one thing I just wanted to tell you guys also, when I do mines, I do every other screw all the way around, tighten those up, then I go back and I put the other other screw, then I go through and I tighten all of them up uh, by hand, you know what I mean, and it, it seems to hold that way. And there you have it, you see how that bead lock, you see how that bead lock lays on there flat, that's how I suppose it fit, nice. So just make sure you're getting the, the, uh, that little tongue down inside all the grooves, and then you set. I got one more to do here. I got the wheel in. I just gonna put the bead locks on, just like that. And then we are good to go. Nice, light, durable tires from AQ Racing. Nice. All right, and now that we got the bead locks on, it's time to put the ramp on. And like I said, just sometimes you can just push it on by hand. Which is almost got it there. There it is. Like that. You can see it on there, down on there. That's the one there. Good. That reinforces your hex. So please don't forget to put those on. If not, you have a good chance of stripping this hex out because this rubber will expand. Because this plastic will expand. Alright. We'll get them on this one. And then we'll do this one. And then we're going to. Go downstairs and we want to weigh this tire, this wheel and tire combo, so you can actually see the weight of these things. All right, so here it is. Here's the wheel and the eight kilo foam. We got it on. We got to set the grams, zero it out, and put that on there. Five hundred and forty-two grams. Not bad. That's that's real good. That's <laughs> that's a real good weight right there. Five hundred and forty-two grams. So, there you go, guys. That's how you put an A-kill tire on. At least that's how I put an A-kill tire on. I've seen a lot better videos than this. <laughs> but I just figured I'd do a video of how I do it. All right? Um, it's a struggle, for real. So, I guess what practice makes perfect. So, maybe my next set, I'll be even better. I don't know. But, these A-kill tires are definitely some of the best tires to run in. Um, bashing, racing, um, anything. You know, you just look good on the shelf. You know what I mean? So these um, A-Kill tires are really nice, man. So if you're looking for a set of tires, man, go out and get yourself a set. So I'm about to get these mounted up in my car and, uh, you know, do some running. Catch you later. Out.